Here we go. Holy shit. Okay, what do we have here? Hey, all you people, what's going on? We have the Audi S6 today in the garage. If you remember a little while ago, I had a video doing the full, you know, initial review of this thing. Uh, my dad and I went down to Atlanta and drove it back up to Boston. That was something, that was an adventure. As it sits, this car is an excellent base for a performance vehicle, but who's to say how much power is enough? So the old man's joining the Unitronic crew. Hey, as you guys know, my GTI has a stage two Unitronic tune. So far, I'm very satisfied with the Unitronic. People might say, oh, you get more power numbers out of APR, their tunes. That might be true. But APR is shooting themselves in the foot by not letting you self flash your car at home. And that's why a lot of people go with the Unitronic because they give you this old dongle cable and then you just come into your garage. If you have a garage, my dad's lucky enough to have a garage, I don't. Plug this bad boy into your OBD2 port and flash tune your car from here. How much can a tune actually do for your car? Um, Just the tune, that's it. Literally no other modifications, no downpipe, no cold air intake, no turbo upgrade. These engines are capable of quite a bit. I'll show you guys a base run that we did back in the day, which I think was 0 16, 4.2, 4.3. All right, hit record. was on summer tires in the cold without launch controls. So you know this thing has some potential. Enough talking. Go for a drive. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, what are we testing for? What are we testing for? Just basically this acceleration and throttle response, you know? Love to see if it gets better gas mileage. Uh, what are you averaging now? On the highway, probably 26. Around town, probably 18. Sounds about right. Yeah, really, really hammer it. In stock, this is a fast car, you know? The tune's really gonna open it up. You know what it's gonna do? It, it obviously increases the torque more than it increases the horsepower. That's just the nature of a, you know, a turbocharged engine. So it's gonna put you back in your seat more. Obviously it's gonna have more pull in the top end too, but. Quarter mile, I don't know what this does right now. But I think after the tune, at least they showed it at about 11.4. Yeah. Right now it probably does mid 12s. In throttle response, is there any any bit of a lag? Yeah, maybe, there's, there's maybe a little a, bit here. Yeah, a little bit. It's definitely not instantaneous, that's for sure. It's probably a quarter of a second lag. Mm. <laughs> so the tune should make it feel a little more like it's uh, mechanical throttle. We've got our benchmark, how it feels. Now what do you say we give her a tune? I'd say let's do it up. All right. So we're gonna flash tune it, then we're gonna go out and do another 0 to 60 run and uh, maybe use launch control this time. Oh yeah. Oh, high five. Oh, yeah. High five. <laughs> so download. Well guys, we skipped the instructions. You shouldn't skip the directions. You should skip the directions. You see, what, you see what's happening right now? The frustration on their faces? You skip the directions That's to prove how smart you are. Directions. And then they go back to the directions to prove how not smart they were to begin with. Mm -hmm. Eating Jesus. Mm -hmm. Eating Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Watch me run out of power. Shaboom. You want the performance flash, yep. Yeah. All right, stage one plus 93 octane. Executing command. Sounds military. Downloading stage file. Ensure that this process is not interrupted. And blah, 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 blah. Starting a new flash. What makes some funny noises? Yep. Comparing upload, zero percent. The gas range is going down. It's, based, it's just messing with the whole ECU right now. Do not disconnect because it'll uh, screw everything. It'll literally break your car. Careful of the wire. 
Careful of the wire. The synapse is happening right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, this actually, this part didn't take too long, but it does a couple of things after that. You have to like- Spin around three times, clap your hands. Click your heels. Jump up and down. Yeah. <sighs> Please switch ignition off and click next to start. ECU recalibration, all right. Off, on, then off. On, now, off, turn on. Click next to check if ECU is okay. The ECU has been programmed successfully. Please switch ignition off and click done. Okay, Dad, I think that's it. You excited? Absolutely. Let's see how many more horse poppies we get. Horse poppies. So what's cool is that if you ever get any check engine lights, you can actually see what the check engine codes are. No kidding. Yeah, so you don't have to bring it somewhere. So if you want to unflash it in case it's a warranty issue. Yeah, all you gotta do is go to that and then put it back to regular tune. Um, let's see, you got about 530 horses. Mm. So it's not like a, an RS. No, it's it's really close to the RS um, Is it? stock. Let's open her up on the road. Let's see what she's got. Is that foot oh, to the floor? Yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's definitely quicker. And that was even to the floor. That was not to the floor? No. Oh, come on, Dad. Definitely. Oh, giddy up and go, you can feel it. It's a good little turnaround spot here, it's wide. Let's feel it. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely feel an improvement, huh? Oh yeah. Huge. Oh yeah. We just got up to like 90. It's 95. Yeah. She's hot. Yeah, that third gear? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the tires started slipping in, in first or whatever you were in. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that, the third gear was nothing. It was so much different than before, last time to, to yeah. now. That's a lot, a lot quicker, a lot, a lot sharper. A lot, a lot sharper, yeah. Ooh. You can scare mom in this now. Yeah, she would definitely be a little panicked. So crazy what just software can do, huh? Whoa! Third to fourth, it just goes. Yeah. It just wants to go. It just keeps pulling. Oh, man. Nice highway cruising machine now. Yeah, I get better gas mileage. Yeah. <laughs> Not driving like that. <laughs> I can't even imagine a stage three. What the heck that would be. It's crazy the amount of power you can make with just a stage one. Stage one plus. One, well, yeah. The, it's stage one plus, but that's just because of the octane we have up in the Northeast. We got 93 here. It's worth the 1,600 bucks. Like Sam for rat. Yeah. It just goes. The Tesla was far quicker than this, but this is faster. Oh, oh take my money. This car sounds so good when you actually rev it up. Oh my God. I'm just rolling into the throttle slowly and so much torque down low. Oh my gosh, yes. That's 80. What's the zero to 60? I don't know. See if we can do a launch. Yeah. Alright. Nope. Not yet. There we go! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't. Oh my god! Wait! <laughs> that felt <laughs> It just spun all four wheels. Yeah! I didn't. <laughs> I was pure panic because I was like, do you know what you're doing? Oh my god, the thing did not hook. Wow. Oh. Wow. All right, Dad, don't hate me, but that was the first successful launch control we've had in this car. <laughs> and I will tell you this as soon as I get home.
There's just still a bit of turbo lag, but that's it's just what you get with the turbo car. What do you think, Sammy? I am very impressed. It's like the face goes back to the back seat. That's Your face does it anyway, though. Yeah, you're right. I'm uh, not sure how that zero to 60 came out, but we'll see. <laughs> Either way, it does make a huge difference getting the stage one plus tune. Pops likes it. And that's all that matters, right? Because it's his car. It is definitely a lot faster. That's for sure. It just keeps pulling and pulling, trucking on. So if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Stay tuned for the next one, huh? Ha, get it, stay tuned. Get it. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one, man. Oh my God. <laughs>